Yep. Uh, thank you. Hi. Um, I'm from uh, Chang. I'm from uh, Intel. Um, today, I'm going to talk about the AMX. Um, so, um, I'm going to um, describe first uh, what is a um, XSAVE, and then provide some short review, and then closing with some um, discussion about the alternative. Uh, this is a kind of um, survey talk. So I want to build up a case to find some uh, alternative claim here. Let's go. First, what is XSAVE and then what, how uh, Linux adapts this architecture and how XSAVE itself evolved over the time. Um, so this XSAVE uh, is kind of an instruction set to save and restore a set of a register state. It has a, a predecessor, I think, uh, FXSAVE, which is a very um, feature specific. Um, I think a pe the idea um, people get um, to invent this is instead of uh, adding a um, bunch of uh, instruction um, to specific to the feature, um, they, they think uh, XSAVE can provide us some generic way to save and restore instruction. Uh, um, I'm sorry, um, save and restore register states. Um, this approach is kind of monolithically um, save um, entire set of a register at once. So it looked like um, a little bit conflict from today's point of view, I'll go more detail. It has a particular memory format, um, which is extension from the, um, the format that is used from the FX safe, but it's a kind of uh, um, redefine the format to um, address and I'll host all the new uh, register set. Um, this uses is primarily intended for the context feature though, um, but uh, this usage was adapted to the, um, as part of ABI. There's some history, um, I was able to look at that. Um, so initially when people push this uh, XAV feature, there was a uh, lot of discussion about the format, how to define the format, how to extend the signal frame. So oddly, um, software defined format was uh, firstly um, suggested, which then um, needs some descriptor as a form to um, provide some size and offset information of each register set. Um, but then um, people re realize that, that that information is can be retrieved from um, CPU ID. And also um, there's with with the fact that um, this offset and this layout is kind of fixed. So um, it was determined uh, this how to define the format, XA format is um, as defined as a part of ABI, uh, which um, is now um, kind of uh, ugly um, from today's usage. I'll, I'll go in second part discussing further. But before, um, I will briefly um, summarize um, how it incrementally changed over the time. So um, it tried to save uh, memory write in two regards. First, uh, when the state is identified being remaining um, initialized, then it saved um, it skipped the memory write. Um, and also the, when um, there's a back-to-back -back, uh, uses a single buffer from restore it to saving and uh, some particular state is um, identified as modif non-modified, uh, then it skip also saving um, write to the memory. The other aspect of improvement was saving area. Um, one is, um, so formally the, the original format was kind of a standard format, which is um, you you have to resolve uh, the features and its area regardless of its uh, enablement. Even if uh, you disable the feature by colon, um, but you have to reserve that space. But um, new compaction format um, is defined to remove those reserved area. If you uh, say, disable feature A, then the area for the A is gone. So that you can save a space. The, the other approach you recently um, make available is for the AMX and kind of a larger state. So instead of uh, um, allocate larger chunk of the memory for all um, 
kind of gradually uh, reallocate the large buffer depending on this uh, uses, which is a backbite of mechanism to detect uh, uh, its usage. So um, in this slide, I was trying to summarize the history of uh, merges um, from two aspects. Uh, on the left side column shows um, the years of uh, those uh, incremental changes on uh, XAV architecture itself. On the right side, um, it shows, I think, a feature adaptation. Um, it started from uh, computation states and then to uh, various states. I try to categorize uh, the different colors. And then as you can see, orange color indicated some security feature and some something else. The idea I can get is um, these features are so different as time goes on, and then it's kind of packed together as, as part of the monolithic approach. While um, this um, mechanism to save and restore those features of states being uh, the same. That I think uh, potentially uh, conflict to today's feature uses model. So second part here, I um, want to uh, talk a little bit more as part of a retrospective of this architecture um, to answer, try to answer those questions, um, how well this approach, whether it's just effective, it's particularly for ABI, whether it's really well scalable and briefly touching on the optimization part. I heard that they've um, really um, explained what's the detail and the protection key here, but I just want to make a case um, against this monolithic approach. I, I know it's a goofy thing, but uh, um, basically this protection key needs to keep the valid states all the time, um, but the rest of extended the register are all restored right before the back to the user phase. So I saw there's some uh, revision to come along with this XSAVE buffer, but uh, recently um, this feature saving restore um, approach was a completely decoupled from the XSAVE and its buffer. I think it's, a, um, it's possible um, because the feature provide uh, instructions to save and restore, but I think that's a kind of uh, um, oddity against this monolithic approach of XSAVE. The other case I could find was um, that of a supervisor state. Um, these state um, that particularly kernel these to update um, while the task is run away, um, switch it off, I mean. Um, with the compaction and along with the uh, dynamic state like uh, AMX, it really becomes um, complex to retrieve the state information out of the buffer. It's still doable, but it's a uh, costy. Um, there are two cases, PSID um, originally thought it needs to, but it turns out uh, not the big case, meaning there's no need for retrieval. Um, but uh, for the CT case, I saw um, Thomas suggest to, instead of retrieving the state um, information from the outer buffer, it was recommended to, I think it's a workaround to um, restoring all the register states and then modifying from there. So um, from those two cases, um, I think uh, the cadence of restoring uh, sometimes mismatch. It's not that, although I think a monolithic approach is not always win, I guess. And also speaking of a buffer, it becomes more uh, complex. It's, it's a really not so simple um, to uh, retrieve the information in the buffer. So it's a, um, there's some inefficiency there. Now let me uh, talk about the this ABI. I think um, uh, this uh, ABI is is kind of uh, um, embracing the um, XSAVE standard format, that is non-compacted format, um, but that uh, format the conflict with the uh, emerging of uh, AMX use. So AMX is a particularly larger state, like um, 8K, but 
um, it is it's a user is so dynamic. It's not all thread user thread is going to use this state. So it's a very inefficient um, to follow this standard format, um, enforcing to put this all the states in the um, single frame. So the mitigation um, that was established for enabling this feature was kind of conditional expansion over the single frame. So AMX uses model is um, established as um, permission based. So can, kernel can know exactly when the state is going to be used at an individual um, thread. Uh, it can distinguish an individual thread whether um, AMX is used or not. So can, kernel can then uh, selectively expand these uh, signal for further that's mitigation. But um, stepping back and then looking at this um, ABI as other defined is a little bit um, pessimistic um, because it, it is as expensive uh, to incorporate this detection based expansion. Anyways, it, um, that I think uh, we can discuss uh, um, at the end uh, about the alternative. Uh, speaking of uh, optimization, I think um, modify optimization uh, requires this. Okay. Okay, I see. Okay, modify optimization requires some um, um, consecutive uh, restoring and saving, and it's uh, specific to single buffer. So I um, think then it enforces kind of a monolithic approach further. So let me close this um, by uh, answering whether we need to consider alternative or not. Um, I think um, possible about that. I, I mean, um, we need to find, I think, it's, I think it's a time to find some alternative. Um, against monolithic approach, I think um, some disaggregated approach is, might be needed considering some um, features of so diverse usage model. And then also um, saving all that once in the buffer, um, we can reconsider that. I think um, maybe break down the pieces into different, uh, different set of a buffer, uh, say, um, especially for the dynamically used uh, states or for um, differentiating the supervised uh, states versus the uh, user state. And ABI, I think um, instead of uh, um, how to define the format as using the um, non-compacted, um, instead of that, we might consider some software defined and then um, optimization. I, I don't have a um, clear idea about the since it um, enforcing the monolithic uses, so we may uh, elevate this um, optimization approach. But um, before um, talking all how to um, achieve this, um, and I think about this alternative, I think at this minimum, architectural change is uh, some, somewhat needed, I think. At least uh, um, I expect uh, some flexibility to save um, restore individual state independently, so that then uh, kernel is allowed to define some uh, context layout um, by itself. Um, I think that's uh, pretty much uh, it from me, and but just want to expand the discussion about the um, and then build up some consensus whether um, XSAVE we need to keep still using uh, pushing this further or we need to find some alternative. Any thoughts? I, I'm sorry, I, I can't hear anything. Um, does anybody? Speak. Do I need to use a different mic? Oh, okay, I can I can hear right now. You can hear? Yes, yes. So, I mean, would Linux, would the Linux kernel be revised to use those new instructions or things like PKR you already solved and nobody wants to touch that code? I think. I think we'd use it, so, but I'm biased. 
And kind of the same question too, of are we actually gonna rewrite all the code to move away from Xsave or are we just looking at new stuff? And then the other comment was most of this motivation is optimization. Like if we had blazingly fast single instructions and or like write MSR took five cycles to write all of AMX state, no one would care. So it's really optimization. There are incremental things that we can do. Like for instance, the AMX state, what he mentioned was we allocate it dynamically, but we actually allocate AMX plus everything else in one buffer. And so the first thing it would allow us to do is not have a duplicated state. We'd have our you know base XA state, everything up three VX five twelve in the task struct, or we started doing it out of line, but we do it in the main buffer, and then AMX five twelve, or then AMX could be in a totally separate buffer without duplicated storage. I think we would do that pretty easily. Yep. yep. Are you exactly. proposing that we're doing this manually without hardware support? Because if you rely on hardware support, you can't do it for existing CPUs, and then you have to maintain both. Yes, there would be two different save paths if we if there if it was something like, if we had individual save states, for instance. Yeah, there'd be two paths. The microphone is working. Sorry about that from earlier. Uh, one thing I did want to point out on the ABI that didn't um, uh, that didn't get discussed is that the ABI for the uncompressed format used to be consistent between Intel and AMD, and it is not anymore. So even calling it the ABI is um, a vendor-dependent uh, statement. Yeah, that's true, especially for the offline analysis. Um, on the online case, uh, it's, it's uniform, but yet, yes, that's right. I mean, some CPU might implement some feature, whereas some vendors' the CPU um, doesn't implement that feature, then there's a mismatch, even though there is, um, you, you're going to use a standard format. Quick one. The, prob the problem isn't whether you implement a state or not. The problem is actually that the same state is implemented at different offsets by different vendors. Yep. Yeah, even um, standard format, um, if you don't, um, the CPU doesn't um, implement this feature A, then it's go away. Um, so yeah, offset differs. True. So, so um, uh, core dump, node expansion. So that's, a, I think, the try to resolve that discrepancy. OK, thanks, Shang. OK, uh, everybody that's. Uh... <laughs>